I'm Ryan Benson. I'm Josh Saunders. I'm Dylan Bowden, and we are the Pop Culturists, and it's with great sadness that we discuss today the passing of actor Bill Paxton, age 61, due to complications in surgery. Now, Bill Paxton, for me, is an incredible character actor growing up. He was in all my favourite movies, so it's sad to see someone who's like an icon in your mind pass away. He was Hudson in mm-hmm. Aliens, yep. screaming, yelling, crazy, ecstatic... Game over, man! Game over! <laughs> Hudson? Um, he was the punk in The Terminator. They got killed yeah. by Schwarzenegger yeah. first. Like, no clean clothes, laundry day. <laughs> and he gets in the gut, the big hair. He was always like this over-the-top, crazy kind of character. Eccentric. Exactly. Well, just like wacky, over-the-top, like a cartoon yeah. character. The gap between his teeth. Weird science is Chuck, <coughs> the zany brother. Um, but then he also found like more dramatic roles. Like he was in uh, Apollo 13 as one of the astronauts. He was in um, A Simple Plan, which is an incredible thriller movie by the Horrible Band. Brothers. Have you ever seen it? Horrible Simple what? Plan. Horrible Band. Simple Plan. Simple Plan. <laughs> Yeah, what was the Simple Plan? Um, and like then, he, yeah, he did a stint in Simple Plan, the pop punk band. And then he had his own like <laughs> adventures, like he was in like Twister as as the yeah. lead next to Helen Hunt. Helen yeah. Hunt was really the lead, but he was his the ex husband. Yeah, and um, also Mighty Joe Young, which didn't get that big of a reception. I like that, movie. but that one was pretty That's action packed. And um, even in Titanic, <coughs> he was yes. the through line of the story, and he played a really dramatic role. He had the long beach hair and the the earring. And kind of played like a really humble kind of real life guy. So he had a lot of range and diversity. He started out wacky, kind of found his footing. He's good in a lot of TV shows, people say. Big Love I've never seen that gets a big reception. Um, and even just recently <coughs> he was in uh, Edge of Tomorrow was like the drill sergeant with Tom Cruise. So I really like seeing him back again in a kind of a zania kind of role. But um, so what? What was the? What was he having surgery for? That got. I don't know. They don't think they've announced it too publicly. Okay. Um, it's a shame though but yeah 61 <laughs> makes you think because he's yeah, been around since I was a child but that mm. was like you know 20 odd years ago what 27 since 1990 see like Bill Paxton's interesting because I as I was discussing this earlier I get him and Bill Pullman Bill Pullman mixed up all the time I'm like you know Bill Paxton was the president of Independence Day and you're like that's Bill Pullman <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill Paxton's the second actor to have the claim to fame that he was killed by a Terminator, he, um, an alien, and a predator all in his career. He had a stroke during heart surgery. Wow. Oh, heart shit. surgery. That, that kind of, yeah. Hmm. <coughs> Look, um, so I don't have a lot. I, apart from those couple of movies where he's like, oh my god, yeah, that's Bill Paxton, like in Titanic. I completely forgot that was him in Titanic. Because um, Titan- when you think about Titanic, you just think about, you know, Kate Winslet and Leonardo DiCaprio. You forget. There's that front and back end. Yeah, you know? the whole through line. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. And he had that big relationship with James Cameron. Like, the Terminator was his small role, then Aliens was kind of like his breakout role. And then even in True Lies. Have you seen True Lies with Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> oh, the whole conceit about True Lies is that Arnold Schwarzenegger pretends that he's like this boring computer salesman guy, but he's actually like a secret agent doing all this action stuff. <clears throat> and his wife's kind <laughs> of fallen out of love stuff. with him. Action stuff. Uh, fallen out of love with him because he's not exciting. Like, mm. she wants someone exciting. And Bill Paxton's a car salesman pretending to be a secret agent. So, <laughs> so he, like, <coughs> takes her and he's like, the people are after us. Come on, let's go here. And he takes her to a restaurant things and he's always acting like someone's after him. And Schwarzenegger's like, what the fuck? So him and Tom Arnold, like, are real CIA guys. And they're, like, spying on him and tricking him. Trying to figure him. out what agency he works for. Yeah, and, like, he's like, clearly this guy's an idiot. And he's way over the top, got this moustache. <laughs> And eventually they capture him and like put a blindfold over his head and like hold him over the thing and he pisses his pants and he's like, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's hilarious. And they kind of just like, that's just sad. Like, actually sounds awesome. Man. Yeah, I haven't seen that. True Lies is incredible. James Cameron. When you said True Lies, I was thinking End of Days. Not End of Days. What's the, the, the one where he's the clone and they have to do the thing and he has like Six Day? Six Day. There's a lot of days in there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, got to check out True Lies. Got to check out Aliens, definitely. I think I might do like a, uh, a rewatch. I'm not watching True Lies tonight. Mm. But anyway, not just Bill Paxton, of course. What kind of... Like, now it's getting to the age that we've discussed a little bit in the past where actors who we grew up with Mm. are starting to reach the 60s and 70s (coughs) and passing on. Alan Rickman was on recently, Robin Williams. So this is something that, yeah, we have talked about. We've talked about it before. Like, we did a show on it way back in our radio days. And we sort of talk about the, the the way that movies and TV work is you have an image of a particular person the way they are in that movie. Uh, and depending on when you watch that, that's how you remember that actor or that actress. So come 
30 years later. Like, when I think of Robin Williams, I think of him in Mrs. Doubtfire, you know, in, like, those roles. Like, we had that very distinct look. Uh, and then when you look at him before he passed away, he still looked that way and he had that real big beard for a while. It's just like... Jumanji beard. Jumanji beard. Like, you forget that people there is this age. time, this much time has passed. Mm. Uh, and I think that makes it worse because it kind of... I've talked about this before. Is like when celebrities die, it, the people, the reason people feel so hard about it is because I think it shows to them that they're aging as well. People kind of forget that they're aging. They're going to die at one point too. And I think it's, that's the big kicker, really. Mm. We've got a lot more big kickers to come. Oh, man. Uh, two, <clears throat> two that come to mind that... I oh, know it's grim to talk about, but two that come to mind for me that I'm really not looking forward to is Bill Murray and John Goodman. Mm. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt bad. That's yeah. going to hurt so bad. You are wanting them to die? I don't... No. <coughs> no. no. Like, watching John Goodman... It's a character on Roseanne have mm. a have a heart attack. Dan, hard yeah. Dan Connor. That was a sad episode. That was a very sad. As his daughter's wedding. Yeah. That's uh, horrible. Picnic table. Yeah. That not a sad. fan of that. Um, but yeah, John Goodman's like in Kong, Skull Island. Coming yeah, out he's, he's doing great. It's, it's he's thinner fantastic. now than he's ever... Like he's, well, in yeah. Red State... He was barely recognisable as mm. thin as thin. He yeah. kind of put on weight since then, but that was incredible seeing him in, yeah. in Red State so thin. But um, Bill Murray is looking on in years. Yeah, he's getting pretty old too. He's yeah. looking just older, yeah. which is, of course he is. Well, he's got to be like close to 80, <coughs> maybe? Mm. But on top of like, I said, mine are obviously Seven. big. my big obvious influences. Like. I'm find out. I think uh, let's, I'm going to try 75, and I think that's pushing it. Yeah, I think it's about 75. So, like, for me, Robin Williams was literally one of those people that I, uh, d- destroyed me. I was actually a mess for a couple of days, which is really, really weird. 66? Oh, he's got plenty of time. <coughs> he's fine. Um, yes, yeah, so look up Clint Eastwood. He is honestly, like, super million, old. But he's still directing. That's yeah. Crazy. So, like, yeah. So, yeah, Robin Williams was one that's hit me really quite hard, and... It's sort of, yeah, that's where a bunch of things sort of came from. Clint Eastwood is 86 years Get old. Get out! And he's still 31st coherent. of May, 1930. And directing, like, Best Pictures. Yeah. Best Picture yeah. nominations. Um, but, like, in terms of ones that would affect me the most, I think, uh, obviously, if Kevin Smith will ever die, which... Kevin he's, Smith? Yeah, he's, like, what, 45, 50 now? Um, Too fat for 50, so... Yeah, but, but he's... I think he's closer to 50 now. But, like, he's better than... He's healthier than he's ever been. He's all thin and stuff again now, so... That's a bonus. Yeah. But then there's, there's other actors that sort of have stepped away from the limelight due to health reasons. And you know, at some point, like Tim Curry is an example. Like, mm. he had that pretty gnarly stroke a couple of years ago mm. and he's in a chair and stuff now. And, like, that'll be tough. Because in my head, he's, you know, he's a ro- Rocky Horror. You know, yeah. oh. he disappeared for a long while. He did a lot of voiceover in cartoons, but. Yeah, because like Leonardo Leonardo, he's been in the Clerks cartoon. Yeah. That, bit, that was Alec Baldwin. It was originally Tim Curry and then it became Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Um, but who who's recently passed in in just your last say ten years even that you thought oh yeah even musicians as well um, it's like for me yeah, for me Robin Williams was a big one Alan Rickman was was a big one as well I didn't have that connection with say Prince or David Bowie because I didn't really listen to their music mm. uh, Michael Jackson was pretty tough mm-hmm. um, a big one. <clears throat> mostly because. Michael Jackson's interesting because musically, I think he was amazing. Like, Michael I Jackson. love Michael his Jackson music. Michael Jackson was over 10 years ago, wasn't it? Oh, it could have been. Yeah, at least sure. It, it, at least it, it, no, it'd be... It'd be about... Nine. Eight or nine years ago. So I was, I was in... I lived in Melbourne when it happened. <clears throat> 2009. So coming up. Eight years ago. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like... And then a couple of other just random other artists as well. Like... Uh, and there's a, a band I grew up with that first sort of got me into heavy music was a band called Static X mm-hmm. uh, and their singer Wayne Static passed away about two or three years ago his name was Wayne Static? no no, it was his real name uh, but uh, like that was kind of been like oh dang yeah because like I, I saw that because the, they they did a show the, one of the last shows they ever did as the band was in Melbourne um, and I was lucky enough to go see it it was the first time I saw him it was excellent absolutely excellent show and then they sort of split and went their own ways. And yeah, and then he died not, not, not near a couple of years later. Mm. It's one of those things I'm like, man, I'm glad I got to see that. You know, I got to, to do that. What about you, Josh? Uh, same as you, man. Like, <clears throat> Rob Williams and Alan Rickman in the last decade are the ones that stand out. Um, oh, and, and Carrie Fisher sort of was, was just 
I fucking kick him. I think Harrison Ford will be a big one when he does. <coughs> he's yeah. never going to go. He has dodged the bullet so many fucking times. How many plane crashes he had yeah, now? How many like nine. Do you remember that one we played? And he's not against the plane now. Like, like, is this it? Yeah. And Cold Course one recently. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. He's not going anywhere. Uh, Tommy Lee Jones as well. Tommy Holy Lee. shit! Yeah. yeah. yeah Tommy Lee Jones is good, but he's kind of always been old. Yeah, he's been old since Men in Black One. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like he's been old in '97. Hmm. I think he's just started, like, like um, it feels like he started his career at 40 or something. Like, People have like Betty White. Betty White has been old for How like Betty White? 80 years. I think she's like 107. She she's must have been be. like 30 in the Golden Girls and just made her look old. <laughs> she was like 1990 Let's take a guess. old. I'm going to say she's like 88. 88. Yeah. She's 95 years old. Get the fuck and out. And she's still going strong. Yep. Oh my God. That's a good effort. 17th of January, 1922. <clears throat> I mean, but, when you always look old, I guess it's a blessing in a way. That well, by the time we were born, she was 70 <laughs> or 60, 70. Yeah, that's why we so always, know, always her know her as old. But I think the... 40 when I was born. I think we can unanimously agree that the one that will mess us up the most will be Stan Lee. Mm. I, would I would love to see no, I don't think so. what uh, that uh, would do That'll suck. Obviously, yeah. it'll suck. Um, Mark Hamill. For me, I think yeah, will not be good. Oh, I think they should have like a street parade for Stanley. I think, I think there should be a public holiday yeah. for Stanley. Yeah. They like close down the streets in New York and have like a procession. And it's a big a everybody dress. Oh, imagine, <gasps> imagine if all the actors from the Marvel movies dressed in their characters and walked down Ever. and carried the, the coffin. Oh, you made me cry. You got the old Captain America, the Avenger, Iron Avengers Man, in costume. Wolverine, like literally the Avengers. Hugh like Jackman Hugh Jack 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 comes back. Hugh, as... Hugh Jackman wasn't created by Stanley, but you can <coughs> like, still go. As he's a Marvel. Like Stanley is Marvel. So like to have like oh. That would be oh, the really image in my head makes me want to fucking cry. That'd be beautiful. That would literally be that beautiful. Would be insane. That sounds like a good way to end the show. Oh yeah. man, I'm Ryan Benson. I'm Josh Saunders. I'm Dylan Blood. God, that'd be so that, like that is the utmost Don't say respect. That would be so cool. No, that's... no, no, no. But that is the uh, he's like ninety five. Like he's ninety five as well. So like, there's not much left in him. Even but Betty White should have. Like, Get that'd be the most utmost respect for everything he's ever done. That'd be mm. that'd be so that'd be good. Iconic.